you know, I've seen this where people have asked, what's the difference between a science writer and a medical writer? And in, in most cases, they kind of like, the, the roles sort of blur. Well, science is more than medicine, right? Science inclu includes agriculture, it may include the tech industry, and so on and so forth. And so science writers have a much more broader area to write in, whereas medical writers, like the name suggests, tend to write within the medical field, okay? Um, but I'm going to put both of them together because, again, they may be performing some or all or a cross-section of these roles, okay? Sometimes as a science writer, you could be working in a marketing role. So when you are a science or medical writer in a marketing role, you will be creating writing marketing content for either the company you work with or if you work in an agency like i do for multiple clients marketing content what's that that inclu includes blog content that includes social media content that includes um writing things like white papers which are simply educational tools that um help people who are in a buying mind frame or mindset to make a decision you may be writing educational ebooks you may be writing brochures, you will be creating a whole set of marketing assets for scientific life sciences health companies to be able to use in their marketing efforts. As a science writer, you could also be a continuing medical education writer. Okay, so continuing medical education writers, that's such a mouthful, <laughs> tend to write um, like the name suggests, educational material for professionals in the medical field. Um, and so you may be creating PowerPoint presentations. You may be writing medical textbook manuscripts. You may be creating um, continuing education content that allows the profession, the professionals in that field field recertify for a particular certification for instance or certify for a particular certification so these writers use the uh, scientific knowledge okay to develop these educational materials for professionals in the medical field then you're also going to have regulatory writing regulatory writing is definitely much harder to get into i have found and the reason being, again, just like reg regulatory affairs professionals, they have to, like regulatory affairs professionals have to make sure that companies are complying with state and local um, and, you know, nationwide as well as international regulations, right? And so as a regulatory writer, you'll be writing documents that ensure that the company stays in compliance. And so some of the documents you may write include preclinical um, documents, clinical documents, and packets that the company may have to submit to the government, for instance, in order to be approved for a drug or a medical device. And so this is what regulatory writers do. You also have a kind of subsection of this known as technical writing, and technical writers tend to, again, leverage their scientific knowledge to write things like manuals or the, you know, whenever you buy like a drug, there's a there's an insert in there um, or a medical device you know or a piece of equipment science and medical writers obviously do so many things you could be in a marketing role you could be writing continuing education cmes you could be in a regulatory role you could be in a technical role so science and medical writing really cuts across and you can essentially pick and choose which way you want to go with that